We believe it to be irresponsible to allow even one resident to doubt the quality and safety of our water consumed by their families. Highland Park's Mayor DeAndre Windham telling reporters about the decision to continue having the city of Detroit supply their water, at least for now. Action News has been telling you about problems at Highland Park's decaying water treatment plant and violations from the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality. So far, we're told the water has been safe to drink. However, it is determined that gone undressed, these problems could impact the quality in the long term. We're just concerned about how uh, how they're going to do it, how they're going to fix it, how uh, how long how long it's going to take to be fixed. We know it's not uh, the current mayor fault, but has it been? How long has this been going on? Has it been going on for 20 years, 30 years? How long has been neglected? Yes. State officials estimate the cost of fixing and improving the plant to be 10 to 15 million dollars, and that's on the low end. So it is possible Highland Park may have to get out of the business of supplying water to their residents. I want to stress the fact that Highland Park has not given up on the water plant. Our intentions is to find a revenue source to make the necessary repairs and bring the agent system to full strength. However, it is equally important to stress how costly such improvements will be and that restoring our system will not come without a challenge. A challenge for a city with a water department that is already operating in the red. In Highland Park, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.